have you missed me? That's a tight fit, baby. Been hidden from shot. Let's get to it now. Now, guys, I've been away for a few weeks from YouTube and a lot has changed. Mainly where we now live. And now we're all settled, I can make my comeback to YouTube. I've got a fair bit to tell you about, so come on and let's get chatting, I suppose. comeback i've been here for years as ll cool j once quoted in one of his rap songs and fun little fact i did a musical project on ll cool j when i went to a posh middle school and none of my classmates at the time knew who he was because they were into high school musical stuff when i was listening to gangster rap in my bedroom right guys you guessed it this is going to be a talking video about when earth i have been and you might have just got a clue as to where I've been from the start of this video. I'm glad I'm wearing these microphones by the way because my dog is itching his bits and pieces and you can't hear him doing that. So I have stories upon stories in one story here. I have a lot to explain and a lot to tell you about as to why I had to take a break from YouTube and I've been gone for like a few weeks or so and I don't like to take breaks from YouTube because YouTube probably doesn't like it and now this comeback video is probably going to be really bad because I've like lost my place in the algorithm probably but sometimes you've got to take a bit of time out of social media and in my case YouTube to focus on more important things which is life outside of YouTube and I do actually have one of those believe it or not guys 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 we have had to move house yet again so I also had to take a break from YouTube about this time last year because we were put in this situation this time last year. So if you want to know a bit of backstory to what I'm kind of on about, again, story of a story and all that, then click on the card above and that'll explain the backstory, which then kind of leads me on to what I'm going to talk about in this story, this YouTube video. I just now wish that when I was living at home with mum and dad, when I was young, single, working, earning, I just wish I'd save for a house deposit because I could be living in my own house with my boyfriend, Martin. Instead, because of our own kind of circumstances, we have to rent. And also, you can see how I wasted my money in my younger youth days by clicking on the card above whatever it is on the screen, this side, that side, who knows? And you can see uh, that I wasted my money on getting different financer baths back in the day but it was cool because I had a nicer, nicer bath I just maybe wish I'd save for a house deposit when I maybe could have done so basically we're in we're in June 2024 but in July 2023 we moved into our previous property hoping it would be a long-term let as I say me and Martin were previously living somewhere for nearly three years and we were hoping the previous property would just come from would be a long time let again didn't have all the boxes ticked this place has but we were ho hoping to be settled there for a good few years. I was at work, just started a new job, been in between a few jobs lately, that's another story. But I've just started the job. I get a phone call from my mum, a bit dramatic, but she was like, are you sitting down, Amber? I've got some news. And I'm thinking, God, I ain't got much family left, but who's died? Luckily, no one had died. But unfortunately, she was telling me the news that she'd heard from the landlord who was in, been in contact with my dad that they're thinking of selling the property and just giving us a bit of a heads up, a bit of a warning before the official warnings cut, take place as such. Really lucky with the previous property, being able to get in the property or put our names forward before the property even went on market. And that was just pure luck us finding the previous property. I thought we're not going to be lucky again. This is it now. We're going to be screwed. We're lucky previous time. I didn't think luck was going to be on our side this time. Turned out it was. And here's a story within a story. When mom told me that news, that week I'd been um and ahhing about buying a Type R. 
In fact, I'd even taken out a tiny loan because I was fully committed now after making my mind up or not being able to make my mind up, shall I say. I'd message this guy and I was like, look, I've got the money. The tie pass insured. I'll come and get it tonight. I was on such a high at work. To start this new job, brilliant. Going to get myself a Thai par, bath, Thai par. What a lineup! Can't wait. And then that day, Mum told me the news. So luckily, I had some money in the bank to then kind of sort out the house move. So I guess the Thai par was never meant to be. And I'm glad I didn't buy the Thai par. I then got told I had to move. They say all things happen for a reason, and all that. And I'm a great believer of that. So yeah, that's another bit of stuff you didn't know. I was absolutely gutted. And as being an ex mental health sufferer my little brain couldn't cope with the fact that I was on such a high that day and then I was just I could be homeless where we're we going to live money money have we got enough money to move and everything I was so so down and when I get down I can get real down and I was just so depressed and Mark was like look it's going to be all right and I was like look I just feel like my life is over now and I was really scared but he was more upbeat than me as I said previous property didn't have all the boxes ticked this place definitely has and it's the same money a month which is brilliant so yeah let's talk to you about this property um we actually live up the hill from where we were so basically as i'm looking out the lounge window we lived down the hill so we literally lived a minute away from where we are now so it's ideal so when we we're moving it was short trips so that was good quick moving process as such obviously the dog's being full on when i'm trying to film my first video in ages so this property then so i just wanted to get this problem solved as quick as i could i was straight on to right move and I actually saw this place and I was actually, we were actually hoping to move into something cheaper. I saw this place up for the same price as our previous place and it was down the road and I thought, nah. And then I kept kind of, I don't know why, I just kept scrolling by it for a few days and we weren't finding anything else. And I just thought, I'm just going to inquire about this property. It's probably gone because a few of the others that I did like had gone already. And surprisingly, they were taking viewers on this place. So me and my mum were the first of you. Not that that means anything, unfortunately. And yeah, we liked it. It was better than we thought. Put my name down. Then it was just down to the waiting game. There were 14 viewings on this place, at least 14. So, you know, two adults, a dog. Is the landlord going to want a dog? They might prefer kids. They might not want a dog here, although it did say an animal would be considered. And we're waiting and waiting. I thought we've got no chance out of like 14 people. And sure enough, we got accepted for this property. And I was like, just take my money and just let's just, I just want this property to definitely be ours. So that can be the problem solved. And yeah, we were really, really lucky. This is definitely an upgrade. Like I say, for the same money that we were paying before, only a minute up the road. So I will give you a house tour in a minute. But yeah, we've landed on our feet with this one. Uh, as I'm filming this, I'm filming this on a Thursday. We moved in uh, Saturday, the Saturday just gone. So we haven't been here a week yet, but we're really starting to make it our own. And as I say, it's definitely an upgrade. So when I first found out the news, as I say, luckily, I, I thought my mum was going to tell me someone died and luckily they hadn't. That's a plus. But when I, like I say, we've had to move twice in under a year. It, we just honestly weren't expecting the previous property to be a short let and it was so annoying. But we've definitely upgraded ideally me and martin were hoping to upgrade by living in the countryside to get a lot more for your money out there but we've kind of been forced to kind of we weren't forced into this property it's just definitely what we wanted so we're happy the problem has been sorted but yeah it just wasn't a situation we didn't want to be in anytime soon having to move twice in basically a year is not good obviously this one's settled in very well had a few very sleepy days after having to watch us move and just been stood there wondering what was going on but he's got a nice big garden, which I'll show you in a minute. And he's just loving life, eating my fingers and trying to uh, distract me from filming a YouTube video. Get that fang out. So I think what we might do actually is, I know I didn't give you a house tour of the previous property. It was actually quite old fashioned. So we had a two bed detached bungalow, massive front garden. So although we're close to one other bungalow, we're far away from the next one. Here we are detached, but we're quite close. We're like sandwich in between two properties so let's get out of the lounge with buster kiddo and let me kind of show you around what i can because there's obviously still boxes in the way uh there's lots of things i'm missing which are probably still packed in boxes and let me do a comparison with what we have upgraded by being in this property compared to our old-fashioned bungalow that we were in so yeah detached bungalow two bedrooms i actually thought the bedrooms were going to be smaller one of them is a bit smaller, but the main bedroom is actually bigger. We've got a massive rear garden. So let me talk to you about some of this outdoor space we have. 
So then guys, here you join me in one of the parts of the back garden. Now, if you look here, let me just swing the camera around a little bit. Now, that does look like a garage, but unfortunately it's not. Um, you could definitely fit a car in there, but basically it's got two quite small doors and the rear end of the driveway is got a gate where you can't get a car through. So that definitely would have been used as a garage. That's the only box I would have loved to have been ticked, but it hasn't. But it is a big enough area. Before our previous property, we had a shed. This is like, oh, I don't know, five times bigger than the shed we have. So we have upgraded an outdoor space as such. And I can definitely maybe do some car spraying of parts and stuff. Loads of storage in there for car bits and bobs, what I'm trying to say. Unfortunately, you can't fit a car in there itself. Let's kind of give you a tour of the garden then. Now, unfortunately, we've got absolutely loads of these stag beetles, which Buster has just annoyed. Look at him. He is really not happy. <laughs> and I hate him. Oi, Buster! Oh, dear. Over here, we have a pond. Now, the landlord did want to fill this in, but I was kind of adamant I didn't want it filled in because I just, when we get the fountain going, it'd be nice to... I just love coming here to see the fish and to hear the water running when we get the fountain working with the butte. And we've also got a fake buster there guarding the fish. And then this is just the back of a bungalow. And we've got some of our plants that we dug up from the previous properties. We bought them, so they're coming with us. And then we've got this bit of planting area, which again, some of our plants from the previous property. And we've just been doing some weeding. Got a bit of dead wood in there. Hence why all the stag beetles live, which I do not like at all. Then we've got all this area, which we do need to go through as well. But we're just about to get a taller fence put in by the landlord, so it's good stuff. Quite a few palm trees. We've got another little seating area here. And then I thought the garden just went up to these conifers but when we actually came for the viewing the garden goes all the way out here as well ta-da oh god so buster just would not leave that stag beetle along alone to the point where the stag beetle had clinged onto his fur and then buster was trying to like put his head between his body and it was clung onto his fur <coughs> actually a little point this isn't just like a rental property this actually belongs to the owner's dad so it's been the family this property for quite a few years and the dad let's say who owned this property as such this was his like allotment patch now i am an ex-gardener ex-allotment owner and we will be turning this into a little veg patch mum bless her those are our two tomatoes mum's really started some planting and then all this area is going to be like veg that bit's blocked off this is actually believe it or not another pond although it doesn't look like there's much sign of life in there this all needs weeding apparently froggies are in there so it'd be nice to see some of them if buster doesn't get them that is and yeah if i stand right at the very back this but over here says wasteland there's our bungalow all the way there so this is huge and this is a new fence that's going to carry on all the way down to the bottom so this is new and taller good for privacy in the big spacious modern kitchen this property is so modern it's quite one that i feel proud to live in as I say, the previous property was very old-fashioned, old-fashioned kitchen, old-fashioned cupboards. This got a brand new kitchen in, brand new bathroom area. So I'm in the kitchen now, all brand new. We have a utility room there, and then that goes into another kind of outer porch way. So that's pretty cool. Uh, fresh carpets as well. Bedroom, hallway, lounge. This is one of the back bedrooms, our spare bedroom, which looks out onto the rear garden little bit of inspirational quotes for the household of course but most importantly should we go back out to the front and let's talk to you about the big driveway that we have just on the back of the driveway and this is one of the reasons we can't get a car through because a car isn't going to go through that little door and as i told you about the kind of garage area doors are too small anyway maybe debating talking to the landlord and just getting this kind of a gate that we can bring a car here building stuff but we'll wait and see but for now let's go through there and talk to you about the driveway I love you and I. So here you join me at the back of the driveway where it becomes narrower because you're closer to both the properties and the front of the driveway is more wider so the more narrow bit my bath belongs and we can actually get three cars on here. Martin's obviously got his Focus ST so that goes on the more end piece of the driveway the wider bit. Also my bath hasn't been in daily use for a few weeks now a few months in fact so although she is getting quite dusty from just sitting I have actually bought a car cover today, which is good because that was also another thing that I couldn't do at the previous property was have a car with a cover. So even being able to think about covering my bath own 
So even being able to think about covering my bath owner is like a over. Even me being able to cover my bath over with a cover is just kind of like a luxury because although we had a driveway at the previous property, it was right out the front of the house on display. The cover would have probably got blown off but because we're the cars are more sheltered between the two bungalows here, I can proceed to cover my bath up to stop it getting dusty from just sitting. Oh, why is this a bath so full of shit? The bath is a bit away from the gates when getting out, but it can go back further. So as you see, this is the narrow bit of the drive, and this is where the bath is obviously currently sitting. And then as we walk down to the drive, it obviously gets wider, and there's some gravel there. So this would be the car washing area because it's wider, so that's really good. So at the previous property, massive front garden, smaller back garden this time we've got a smaller front garden and a bigger back garden which is definitely the right way around especially for the doggo this is the driveway starting there all the way to my bath there so with the bath driven back more right up to the gate you can definitely fit three cars on here we can definitely fit the two uncomfortably my bath and martin's focus st but it is good that we do have a three car driveway because i have actually got another car incoming as i'm filming this tomorrow i bought it blind don't have, haven't seen the car in person. I don't know what I've bought, to be honest. Uh, kind of a risk I was willing to take. And you'll be seeing that maybe not in the next video, the video after. But yeah, new car incoming. So we will soon have three cars on the driveway and we'll see how that goes. I was just going to say, so that's it really then, guys. But it hasn't been it. We've been forced to move twice in a year, as I say. Luckily, we have upgraded. So let's just talk about the upgrades that we have. We have a more private secluded driveway. A much bigger driveway than the previous property it's more spacious than the previous property bigger back garden than the previous property and we have this like i say garage area which unfortunately we can't put a car in but it's definitely great for storing car parts etc and being a family of car owners that is definitely a plus for us and a more modern place than what we previously had most importantly to us i hope you can't hear that helicopter but if you can i'll stop now but most importantly to us, previous property had a wet room because of the elderly person that lived in it before. This has got a, a bath, which is what we didn't have before. And because I am a bit like me and Martin and both our bodies are knackered, to be honest. And I'm not a shower person, love baths, can't stress enough. So how would have a bath in my life and then a bath. You see what I did there? So I hope you stuck with me through this video. We spoke about how I was just about to buy a Thai bar, but had to use the money to move. We didn't want to move so soon but we had to luckily we found somewhere really quick somewhere we wanted an upgrade for the same money the cars would be better here we can do more of the cars here more storage for car bits i am still working on a few bits behind the lens shall i say i've got kind of a business idea i've got buffering in my brain once i'm sorted out with money and if any money needs spending on this place and then as i say we have got a project car on its way which obviously will need money i will film it i've bought a few cars which you guys don't know about because they're not worthy of you knowing about this car is rare and it is worth you knowing about i think so we're doing a little kind of project car series really excited about got the space to keep it got the space to work on it good times have you missed me you said no, but we'll pretend you have, yeah. So project car on the way, new house. I have been offered a car to do some videos on, which I was just about to do, but that had to get put aside while we're doing a house move. Business plan buffering in my head until I figure out when I'm going to do it and how I'm going to do it. So good stuff on the car. has been very busy behind the scenes. We moved in, getting settled. I come back to YouTube. It's this, I'm back. And now I'm back. We should be going ahead with the more regular uploads again. So... I had to take a break for good reasons. Situations, problems have been sorted. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know your comments in the comments below if you want to comment on the situation I've been in. It's been pretty rubbish, but we sorted it. And thanks for watching. Now to get on and edit my first YouTube video in the house. Weird but exciting. Thanks for watching. And this needs a the bath needs a bath. That's for sure. What the hell is going on?